Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to create adaptive form using XML schema. So to define XML schema, we will be creating a .xsd file and inside that file, we will be defining the XML attribute or text to define our fields and panels. This tutorial is very important because you won't find enough content over internet or not even the official ad adaptive form documentations. So as part of this tutorial, I'll explain how to structure the schema, what are the fundamental and most important XML tags or XS tags to create form and form fields. So the element is the most important tag. You can prefix this with XS or XSD because Adobe documentations use XS. So I will be using XS, but you can use XSD as well. Both works. So this element is used to define your form fields. The field can be a simple field like text box, drop down, or the field can be the container means the panel which contain other fields. So it is of two type. It can be the complex type or it can be the simple type. Complex type are container fields means the panel which contain other fields. Simple type is just a simple field like text box. So if you are defining a container, you have to use complex type. But if you are defining a simple field, it is not mandatory to use simple type. Sometimes if we have to define additional information with that field, then we have to use simple type. We'll see this in detail in demo. So I will explain this structure or the schema in my IDE. So I'll explain these in my Visual Studio ID, VS Code ID. Apologies. So to define schema, first element is your schema. Basically this validate against whatever you have you write here. So there is already defined in AEM as soon as you create form, this whole schema is validated uh, against which is defined in AEM. Sometimes you will see in logs if you do some wrong or you add it means your structure is not as per the schema defined, you will see in your logs like this has been validated against this. So you can check that in logs. So you see here the first tag is your element under schema. So this element can be complex type as said or this element can be a simple field. So here I'm defining it's a complex type. Why? Because this contain other fields. So I will give the name. This name will be available when you create form. It will ask you to choose a root element. So this will be available and this will be available in the tab as well. We'll see that under which you will define a type which is complex type, which I explain in that PPT because it's a complex type. So I will say it, I need a sequence. It need a sequence. Now you will define here the fields. Let's say I want a text field. So what I say again, I define a element, but now I did not define here any the type means complex type, not simple type because this field does not need anything. So that's why I said, if you need to define only field, let's say text field, then you do not necessarily to define the simple type here what I'm saying name is equal to this type is equal to access string and default value so basically this field means this tag will create a text box with name author underscore ID and the default value will be enter ID it's not necessary to close like this but it's a best practice to close like this you can close like this as well you can close it here remove it and you are done. So it's up to you. I always close it properly because XML, you should have a way in XML, you always close your elements or tags properly. So I always use this like this. Okay. But it's completely up to you. You can do it. So here I define, you see author ID, author name, email, date of birth and gender same field i always explain in all the tutorials so i just want to have a same form so that you can relate to the different concepts now i have saved this now you need to upload this in schema as we did in last tutorial when we were creating json schema so let me save this so just upload this schema and upload 
and this is my schema one thing you need to understand here it will not give you any error while upload even your schema is not properly correct means whatever you have whether it's a correct schema or wrong it will upload your file successfully but that was the, not the case in case of json schema so upload and it's done now this schema has been uploaded you will see a difference here now it's a xsd but earlier was the json schema so that's the difference you can see now let me create a form using this create form same our template and let's say name it something author xml just so that we know we are creating xm using xml it's the same thing again you need to select schema but now select schema from repository you can upload the same time as well now you will see the all the schemas whether it's a json or whether it's a xsd so i will be using xsd as soon as i select this now you have a something different you'll see what is a root element so that root element will be available as i said this thing i showed you here this one name okay parent name and done let me create it so the form has been created now but you don't see anything because you need to check your data source so the data source is what we created you will see whatever the field we created now you just drag and drop and these fields are available but you will notice again like gender right gender and this let me open in a preview so you will see date of birth must be a calendar type obviously you will not typing dates this gender must be the drop down kind of stuff so that you can select among the pre predefined values rather than you type here so to achieve this now you will understand the use of type there is a type field there and how you use simple content because you understood complex content now see the use of simple content so if you see type here is there are some predefined types you can go back and check adaptable form adaptive form documentation so for date there is a call available date x s date now this tab will create a specific type mean date type of field when you create a form using this schema but how you will define a drop down that's a bit of tricky not tricky you will understand here so for that now you will use simple content means the use of simple content so you will say here now this is my element and i did not close it like this so this is my open and this is my close between that i'm saying i need a simple con simple type okay simple type and then i'm saying restrictions restrictions means i'm saying what kind of content it will be it can be the number type there are the number different type of numbers available like decimal float or something basis type means string and this thing enumeration enumeration okay this is define your items if you remember in json also we had something enum enum value or something i don't remember right now so the two type item will be added in that drop down so rather than i upload every time this code so what i'll do i'll just copy paste this code inside crxt so as these schemas uploaded as a dam assets so you will find that inside dam so let me open let me copy this first and go to dam and dam or assets and this this my folder my schema and you will see this author.xsd because it was an asset so there you will see the renditions you can disable those but i can explain that sometime later go to original and you will see this code whatever we uploaded so rather than i upload i'll just replace this with my updated code and i save it so if i go to that form again and refresh you won't see anything change here but you will see change in the data source okay so let me refresh it and let me remove this delete panel and i will drag and drop that panel again means that field now you will see this is a date field means the date picker is available and the drop down is available so if i see like this preview you will see date picker and the drop down 
okay so that way you can add prop the way type of field you need now let's say as i explained earlier now i need a one more section to add address of this author so altogether i need a new section where i will be having only the field related to address so what how you can do that let me explain that as well so for that add an element element and say the name whatever the, let's say the name is author address author address all right now let me close this as well element inside this again i will define this complex type like how i did it so you can nesting you can do nesting of these complex types so what i'll do i'll add the fields again the way i added here okay so let me add that so you will see here is element and then complex type schema same old story and again i define fields like unit means your home city province province is a drop down so what you can do drop down simple content restriction as explained and the three values so three values available in drop down same way i'm doing for country so what happened along with author id dob email address there will be one more field which will be a panel because i define as a complex type and inside that panel you have the field specific to address and you can reuse this i'll explain that how to reuse that as well so now let me copy this okay, and paste it again there where's the file so here is the file okay just save it and if i refresh this again obviously you won't see any change in form because you need to drag and drop again but you will see the changes inside your data source now you see there is an additional field available which is a panel and if you open this you will find this other field so let me delete this existing one and drag and drop the whole data source again so if i refresh it now you will see a panel again and this panel has all the fields and you see this is the panel all right and the fields so let me preview it so this thing these are available these are the address field and it's a drop down this is again also drop down so you must understand there are so many permutation and combination so many options available to define the schema you can define elements in another way there are other attributes other tags available so i cannot explain every every attribute or tag here so i would recommend you to go back and check some tutorial or play around this because you won't find much content about this topic over internet i hope you understood if you have any question please write a comment thank you